Hey, Joe here on my way to work, trying to avoid some traffic, and uh, I'm gonna answer some of your questions. Uh, big question we've been getting a lot about uh, lately is where do you keep your gun? Uh, and we're talking about where do you keep your personal protection gun, your self-defense gun, uh, concealed carry gun. That's answering for you. Concealed carry gun, easy, on your person. Um, I would suggest that if you're, you know, if you're a righty, keep it on your waistband, keep it in between the uh, one o'clock, five o'clock position. If you're a lefty, keep it between the 11 and seven position. I'm not a big fan of really the appendix carry or uh, the small of the back. Uh, appendix carry guys, yeah, I just don't want it aiming there. Uh, ladies, it's a good option. A lot of times your shirts are a little looser up front. Uh, easier to conceal the gun that way. Um, when you're in your car, uh, again, if I'm going like right now, I'm driving to work, my gun's on my hip, four o'clock position. Um, if I'm going on a longer road trip, going to be in the car a long period of time, yeah, it could be a little cumbersome, pain in the butt to carry there, especially myself, a larger guy, taking up the whole seat. Um, I keep it in the center console. It's easy to get to. Whoops. Keep it in the center console. Sorry about that. Easy to get to. It's actually easier for any passengers in my vehicle to get to it. God forbid something happened. Anybody can get to it. It's easy. Um, I believe the glove box just too far of a reach to go grab for it um, I know some of the newer cars the center consoles are extremely small um, if your gun doesn't fit in it then you're gonna have to go for uh, the glove box or the yeah, glove box uh, some vehicles now have these little hidden compartments go for it um, I know some of the GM cars have the hidden compartment behind the stereos problem with those are is how slow they are to actually open so if you were in a like say a carjacking situation um, it's going to take forever to open it. Houses. Uh, this has been a big one. A little debate the other day. Uh, where do you keep the gun in the house? Uh, a lot of people say in the safe. Great. Great. I'm not saying never be safe with your gun. But if it's just you and your house, you and your spouse in the house, you don't have young kids in the house or any unauthorized persons that shouldn't be around the gun, keep that gun within arm's reach of you. Um, you know, just don't leave it laying on tables if you're having guests come over and all that other stuff. But nighttime. You're in bed. Why not just keep it on your nightstand? You'll keep it in a holster on your nightstand. Arms reach. God forbid something happens. You can get to the gun quickly. You respond. Do what you have to do. Um, argument most people are like, well, I still keep it in the safe at night when I go to bed. Do you have kids in the house? No. Is there anybody else in the house that's unauthorized? Shouldn't be touching the gun? No. Then why do you keep it in the safe? Because that's where I keep it. So if somebody breaks into your house, anything like that, you need to get to the gun quickly. Well, I'll open up the safe. You're gonna have time to open up the safe in a situation like that. Um, you're nervous, you're scared, and trust me, you're gonna be. Uh, unless you're some kind of superhuman, you're gonna be stressed out, you're gonna be nervous. Um, you're gonna open up that safe, probably not. Um, you're gonna be able to get that gun out. Why, the person's probably in your room. No, not gonna happen. One person, hopefully they were joking, they said they go to the garage and get a shovel. What? Um, folks, if you have it, train with it, be safe with it, keep the gun in a holster, keep it right there within arm's reach. Keep it on that nightstand. Um, keep it inside the nightstand if you want. Get the nightstand safes for them. You know, we have them over at the gun shop. Uh, cool little things, they look like old clock radios, all that fun stuff. Keep it right there. Uh, if you have to get to the gun, uh, they got the biometric ones. They got the uh, uh, little key fob ones that you put right there. Just put the key fob, wave it over it. They got ones that come with little bracelets. Wave the bracelet over top of it. Opens up the safe. Or I suggest at night, just keep it open. Uh, during the day, if you got the gun in there, then lock it up. But keep it easily accessible. If you have to get to it, everything happens quickly. You're not going to have a long time to respond to this situation. The bad guy's not going to give you time to respond. They're not going to call you up ahead of time and say, hey, tonight at like 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to come to your house and do home invasion. No, it's not how they do things. It's going to happen quick. So make sure you're training properly for all this stuff. Um, for when you're carrying on your holster, uh, on your person, make sure you're training on how to draw your firearm. Get that gun out of the holster quickly with one hand. None of this two-hand stuff with one hand. Your support hand can be doing so many other things, fighting off your attacker, holding a child, getting a loved one out of the way, whatever it's going to be doing. I guarantee it's not going to be helping get that gun out of the holster. Think about these things. Train as you're going to fight. I know it's a cliche. Everybody uses it. But it means something. It's truthful. Um, practice.
practice these things. Um, hopefully this answers a few of your questions. If you have any more questions, let us know. Uh, PM us, DM us, whatever they call them now. Um, let us know. Email, stop in and see us. Whatever. Let us know. We'll try to answer them for you. Folks, have a great day. Um, I'm about to be stuck in all this Sarasota traffic. Lovely. Stay in your lane. Oh, they got to take up two lanes. Gotta love this stuff. Folks, I'll talk to you later.